Hello DVR, I am Lisas, and this, well you know what this is probably, a right bunch of viscera nut as most of you are, bordering on obsessive maybe, yes, well I've already called the authorities so don't worry, you uh, you sit quietly while the nice men in white coats come to take you away to the padded room with a view and uh, let uh, Uncle Sass distract you. We're going to do something different today, We're well different in terms of, um, well you know that I usually play a lot of car thief levels and cannon fodder levels. That pair of creative geniuses, indeed. But this time we're going to do something different. We're going to do a level by a janitor. Now a janitor is someone who's also been very busy, it seems, on the, the Steam Workshop, which is why I looked at it. And they, all three of these, these luminaries appear to comment on each other's videos, which is nice. That's good to see, a bit of support between the, between the great map makers. And we're going to play the main menu journey. Time to clean this joint. So it's like just the sort of nonsense from the description that I like to play. So let's start work and uh, we'll see what description we get. I don't know, I've never played this level before. I've never played a level by a generator before. I've never played this level before. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know how long it is. I'll have to find out when the, when the loading screen goes away and I can stop filling for time. There we go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Name Janitor. Why do you do that game? Why do you have to anonymize me all the time? Age 41. Junior Executive Janitor. Brief. A crazy, trigger happy, mental janitor has really done it this time. A mutant human has tampered with the company Bong. Did we have a company Bong? It's like a company logo. Um, it is your duty as one of the last surviving janitors to rectify this issue on time before Sunday. So go now and fix the horrors. Why Sunday? What's so special about Sunday? I don't know. Um, I thought this was my menu journey. So this sounds really loud, by the way. And I usually, I usually, first of all, first, can we, can we please? No, yeah, you should know who I am. I do enough of these damn videos. I, I usually change the shirt as well, but I can't be bothered. Why are you at 1280 by 720? Give me a second, viewer, and I'll be back. Okay, one second. Oh, blimey. Right, we're back. <laughs> what is this thing, anyway? What is this thing supposed to be? It's like a like a big stargate. It's a, ooh, a laser as well. well uh, oh dear, glitchy. Right, okay, um, let's go over here. No, I can't. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 don't suck me through yet. Okay, um, hold on a second. I don't know what's going on here. It seems kind of fun, though. Am I, is that supposed to be on fire? Oh, it's like a... It is like a puzzle game. That seems kind of fun. Oh, but I'm a bit worried because there's a mess here. Can I properly clean this up? Did I just... Did I just break the laser? What happened there? Oh, I hope it's a two-way gate. I don't want to leave that mess there. That seems kind of strange. Where's my laser gun? Have I, um... Have I done it all wrong? Have I broken the level already? It wouldn't be a surprise if I have. Oh! No, okay. We're here. This is doesn't look right. Why am I in a ca I'm out of the cage. Okay. We've got a friend! We we haven't got a friend. What's um? Is that the crazy janitor? He's he's got a he's got a terribly. He's got. What's going on? He's got a he's got an offensive afro. Not offensive because it's I don't like afros, but because it seems like he's uh he's a bit typecast because he's still on the bong. He's got an afro and he's smoking a split. Um, now video uh, video. I don't actually know what's going on. But we're going to try it again. I presume that he blew me up, but I don't actually know. So we're going to, this time, we're going to... This is a very unexpected viscera level. I didn't know what was going on here. We're going to... Get me out of here! No, I'm going to run! Did that thing blow me up? Did I get shot by the gun? Is that a friend or not? I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. It doesn't appear to be targeting me. Has it got ammo in it? 
No, oh, I don't know. I don't know what went on. I don't... <laughs> right. Okay. Let's assume that was something very strange and not to worry about. Let's um. Let's see if this is going to shoot me. Apparently not. Um. Let's uh. Let's um. Should we try cleaning up? I'm not sure this one's actually helping or, or hindering. Are you? Are you not the not the person who stole the, stole the bomb? Right. Okay. Well, fine. So. There's no door on this. Is that allowed? I thought you got in trouble for having no door. Anyway, right, so. Let's put my... See, I changed my shirt, by the way, my dungarees. Um, <laughs> let's put... Let's put these bits in here. And we'll work it out as we go along. The, uh, the description of the level was... It was about playing through the title screens of, of the Viscera level. Which sounds pretty fun. Um, not helping. Um, so... With my view bob on as well. One second. Have I not done this? Uh, if you see Bob, please punch him in the chops. Um, what's that under? Always run? No. I can't. I, I, I don't remember anymore. View Bob. There it is. Okay. Let's take the run off. I'm a, I'm a wandering kind of guy. I'm not a running kind of guy. I tend to take my time. Which is my excuse for being really slow at everything. Uh, yeah, so... I thought it was a head from it. It's just a bulb or something on the floor. So, yeah, playing... You know the you know the the, the, uh, the initial screens that you look at? The ones that I have... Um, you know, the, the intro screen where you, where you can see, you know, behind the menu, where it says start game and everything else, there's a little bit of a scene. Usually with a body flopping down or something. Those screens... And that sounded kind of funny, like a, an interesting idea. Reminds me a little bit of the, the novelty of doing... Um, when I did Bob's Notes. You know, I read through all the Bob's Notes. You know, I got them all together and did them in sequence. Something novel, but less creative, of course, than doing, than doing this. Go away! Walking hazard. So, come on. I'm presuming the door isn't going to make a difference. Which tells me that a janitor... Much like fodder. Likes to fiddle around with the rules of levels, I'm hoping. I'm a bit worried though about the Where'd that turret go? We've got, a, we've got a dead turret here. Or is that supposed to be put somewhere? What does it say? A recent shortage of protective equipment is ongoing. Expect to work in hazardous conditions if at all. Yeah, I can tell that. What I don't still not sure what blew me up. Go away! Uh, we've got a turret there. And we've got Mm. I'm thinking maybe another portal will open when uh, we complete this, this bit here. Notice it's become we now, of course, because you are now complicit in the disaster that's going on of me trying to play a visceral level. Um, I think I'll chuck this away anyway. I'm sure if we need another one, they'll give us another one, won't they? Get out of the way, Bob! Yeah, he's now Bob. Whoa, that was really fast dispensing. Have we... Have, have you... Janitor, have you put in... Um, more efficient machines. Because that's pretty good, that. I like it. Faster dispenser. I'm a bit worried about that first level, though. I'm a bit worried about the mess on the first part of the level. That I didn't clean it up. I guess I could deliberately kill myself here and go back and mop that bit of soot in the first room again. Couldn't I? Just for completeness sake. Will you, please? <laughs> Good job on adding this this pillock here as well. There's some bullets. Oh! Right, we know what happens when bullets go in the uh, in in the uh, in in the in the furnace, which is probably why there's no door on it. Yeah, it's all very funny, isn't it? It's hilarious. I did that on the last level, and um, the gauntlet one. It's hilarious when silly Mr. Sus puts the. Is this actually you, Janitor? Is this you personified? Being a... Being a hole. What happens, though, if I put them in like this? Because that's how you deal with dynamite, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we've now got a whole bunch of bullet holes. There's one. Around the place. 
How do I get this out of here? Oh, I got it. Okay. How do I get my uh, my limb out of there? That's kind of interesting. I thought maybe the gate would open again. Um, oh, that's a problem. Uh, did you expect us to die in here, maybe, and, and this to be a problem? How do I do this? How do I open it? Maybe, well... No, we can't wait till the level's clean. Bit of a glitch. I could laser it, couldn't I? I might laser... Oh, no, I got it. That was weird. I was going to say I'd laser it, but that would give me negative points. Although, because lasering bodies is uh, is your negative points. Because you should be respecting your, your, your fellow personnel. Even if it's your own... Respecting personnel. If it's your own body, I imagine that probably counts as being uh, disrespectful. Bob, go away. Don't make me hit you, Bob, really. I will give you still whacking. It's been a long day. It's Friday. It's been a long day. I don't want any, um, any trouble. Okay? Any more trouble than normally. Right, I think we're we're getting... We're making a little bit of progress here, possibly. So let's just get... Now, Bob doesn't come... He's not actually helping. He's just randomly sweeping stuff around. I guess we'll uh, just do... We'll just walk, sweep, sweep, that's a bit weird. We'll sweep this away, mop this away, and try to section off the area a little bit. I think we're probably done in this corner. I'm sure there'll be a great bullet hole hunt at some point. So the, um, ignoring that for a second, I'll edit it out, you'll never know. You'll never know. Uh, what, um, what blew me up at the start? I mean, it, it blew up like dynamite. The gun didn't shoot me. It wasn't the jet, the gun. There's a bullet hole. Was it? Because we didn't hear it go off. They, the, the whine and the build up and that didn't happen. So I'm presuming that it was either designed or some barrels or something, or some weird, some weird, um, like a, an object clash, maybe? Of course, I haven't actually read the, the Steam workshop page or, or any of the comments made to see if there's a that's a known error or not i'm not going to worry about that if it is it is it doesn't matter these, these levels are hard enough to design it is we might be complaining about something like that so yeah it might have been a glitch where things clash and therefore things go bang had that in a free shooter i was playing the other day even the bucket dispensers fast very nice um where i i'd been carefully working my way around on a hard level trying to save up some uh, some health, and then I got caught between two bits of graphics, which then bounced me around, partly killing me. You know, it happens, and that was in a triple A game as well. Right, we're getting there, progressing slowly. This bit's clear, this little cubby hole's clear. But as long as we keep the bucket out of Bob's way, I know it's not actually Bob, we met Bob before, didn't we? He had green skin and everything. We'll, um, we should be okay. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to be tracking everywhere, which is kind of interesting. Suggests he's not, he's not simply a, a character like us that's been animated in a simple way. He's somehow different, so he doesn't... Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. Very funny! Uh, hilarious, I'm sure. Yeah, I think you were very, very proud of that one, weren't you, eh, Janitor? Yeah, it was, that, was the, that was your piece de resistance doing that one. So we know now that um, all sorts of novel things can be dispensed by the uh, by the machine and we've got to watch out for it. So there's no point hunting down bullet holes until we have disposed of all that. If I put... So do bullets pass through... Bob, seriously. If bullet, do bullets pass through um, things like... Did he just clean up? I'm not sure if he did or not. Um, I shouldn't think he did. That seemed like too much, too easy, too easy a job. Uh, do they pass through things like barrels? I mean, it came out of the bucket and then rico they ricochet. But do they pass through... Seriously. Uh, do they pass through bins? Yeah, so if I put... <laughs> if I put Bob in a box and then beat it thoroughly with a, with a metal bar, um, would it make me feel better? Probably, yes. If I, if I put the, 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 the thing in a barrel, in a, in a box, will the bullets still come out? 
it's, it's a it's a it's a fun experiment, isn't it? We like fun experiments. So that's interesting. So on levels like oh, I've got two puppies now. On levels like uh, the Santa's workshop, or ones where you know that things can get dispensed, of course the the pro strat, you know, what's he doing over there? Being a being an exponent of pro strats. Places where you know dynamite's going to get dispensed, you keep a <laughs> get out of it. It's my bucket. Stop it. You you keep a bucket. <laughs> Keep a bucket, he's jostling me. He's bu he's bullying me, Mum. They keep a bucket there to catch any dynamite that might come out, especially on the Santa's workshop, because of course lit dynamite can come out. And I'm sure there are more levels that are like that as well, where they've done that kind of thing. Uh, so, in this one, oh, there's another bullet casing down there anyway. This one, it might be that keeping a bin around is what you keep near the dispenser, because here he comes. Here comes trouble. I like the mini little catchment areas for the barrels and things as well. Yeah, uh, keep a bit uh, just just to just to put the bullets into trouble. Not because they're going to go bang, but just because it reminds you that's the best way to do it. I don't know. I'm just as usual flapping my lip, lower lip, upper lip, and lower lip. There we go, Bob. I can hear you. So we'll put this in here instead. Get out the way! Get. Why does he always win? I don't get that. Are they going to cook off because they're near that? I don't think so. With no basis for that thought whatsoever. Right. Oh, getting close now. There we go. Right, we'll clean off the uh, the mess around here. Who's, who was killed by this, by the way? I mean, I saw... Oh, it was an alien, wasn't there? Obviously, my body bits were here, but I think the only other parts around here were... were... were, were my parts. My various components. Just the alien. So something's been... So the, the alien has got nothing to do with the bong being stolen. Where, where that comes into it, I don't know. Maybe the alien... Maybe the alien had heard about the bomb. Maybe the alien's completely... He's, he's a red herring. I don't know. Got nothing to do with it. As for you, Bob, you're just a... And what did I hear the other day? I heard a phrase the other day about a police phrase. Yeah? I've been reading a book on... Uh, a, a book about made up crimes. Imagine me crimes. And, um... Not, not real life crimes. And one of the references in there by the British police, the Met in particular, was a uniform carrier. And a uniform carrier is a person who... a policeman who is only good for wearing the uniform. That is their... they've got no... They've got, they're not good for anything else whatsoever. They're not good at solving crimes or anything else. All they want to do most of the time is really... is uh, is get out of the cold and look like they're doing a good job. That's their... And this Bob, this Bob here, this Rasta Bob, He's, he's, a, he's definitely a uniform carrier. He's, he's not doing anything good as far as janitorial work. As far as I can tell. There, yeah, see? I mean, he'll learn something. Maybe maybe they've put him here to learn from a master. You reckon? Possibly. Sure. Let's go with that. Oops. So, oh! It's suddenly opened. Gate opens is... So, it looks like we've cleaned... Or, or not. Oh! Is it as simple as that, really? I thought I was about to say it was like something clever, like the level knew, knew it was an approximate level of clean. Get out of the way, Bob! But apparently not. Right, okay. Well, we're going to do this properly. We're not going to walk away. So is this one of the first levels, then? I guess it is. I don't recognise it, really. I'm sure it's one of, one, of the, one of the standard ones that you see, but I just don't... It's not really... Uh, no. That squelch does not sound like a bucket being picked up. Yeah, it's not really uh, striking me. And why has the thing got no... It looks like a very wide furnace, doesn't it? Do you know an early version of the furnace? It's been, just been squished a bit. I don't know. Uh, how are we doing here? So we've got bullets in there. We're going to try and get the rest of the blood off. Are you clean, gun? Clean your, clean your barrel, sir? Clean your nozzle out. No one wants a dirty nozzle. So it looks like we're going to need uh, something to go on here. 
So what can we put on there that is not cat was rubbish? Bob, can we get you down here? Because if we leave anything lying around, it's going to count as rubbish, isn't it? I don't know. I think we're going to have to accept that maybe... I'm not going to... Oh, we can put this on there, can't we? I'm not going to do the best job. But that was sort of a given anyway. So I think that we are... Right, first of all, okay. We're not going to do any sniffing while this is going on. I'm going to try and laser all the ooles, what I made. And then we'll do a quick sniff around. I hope Bob's not too niffy. He's not going to throw the sensors off. No, I better put this in first, haven't I, really? We can do the experiment, can't we? We can do the experiment of of what happens. Get out of the way, Bob. If we, um... If there's ammo in here. Nothing good, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. I'm actually cringing in my seat. Right, that's the world record for... Let's create as many bullet holes as possible. Oh, it went. Oh, that was weird. Oh, it's gone. And the trouble is the bullet casings are now lying around as well. We haven't actually... Oh, watch out for that, by the way, because it knocked these down. So therefore, if you've got explosive barrels when bullets go off, in theory you could make them go bang. Right, well, I'm going to go hunting some bullet holes, aren't I? Because that sounds fun. Oh, there is one thing. These are the full of water, I think. Probably raspberry jelly. I don't know what's in a blue barrel. I have no idea. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to hunt down some bullet holes. And then we'll go sniffing. Uh, but for, 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 for reasons we now know, there's no door in your furnace. There's no way of stopping the bullets coming out. 